Hi guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena and this is Budget with Lena. Today we will be cash stuffing part of my second paycheck for my full-time job. Um, so I actually have the money all laid out here and we are stuffing a total of $632. So let's jump right in um, to my wallet here. Okay, so we are gonna start out with my um, envelopes in my wallet starting out with groceries groceries doesn't have any money and today's gonna get a hundred dollars I believe I only did a hundred dollar bill oops that is all that it has next we are going to coffee and coffee is gonna get ten dollars and I actually have some rollover we have one two three four five um, I don't think I'm gonna roll this over because I've just been making coffee at home so I don't know what we're gonna do with it yet but let's just figure it out sorry I am just gonna look for some um, wrinkly bills because I do purchase my coffee with cash because it um, one cup is like three something at Dunkin Donuts and I just give them a five and the rest is for tip um, self is not going to get anything and doesn't have anything. I overspent in some categories, I believe like groceries, so the 20 in here I just used to cover it. LJ's pizza money is going to get $2, so one and two. And next week is his last um, pizza day before winter break. He will be off for like a week and a half, so next week he's only going in Monday and Wednesday. And then gas is going to get $85. Um, I do roll gas over just because it's not a category that, you know, I would overspend. It's whatever that I need. Um, so let me add 85, so 20, 40, 60, 85. All right, oops. All right, so now gas has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 190. One, two, three, four, five, 60, 70, 80. I'm sorry, 180. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80. 180 dollars, which should last me about two weeks. Um, this is my last cash stuffing video for the month. Oh my gosh, for the year of 2022, because um, I'm not working any more bartending shifts, so I won't have any income until January. So that gas and grocery money needs to last me until the new year so that is it for my wallet i'm going to set this aside and we are going to jump into my um, brown binder which has my variable expenses and low priority sinking funds we are going to start out with my son's daycare um this is going to get 240 dollars okay so one Two, twenty, forty. So now daycare has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 620, 640. And I had to put in the whole 240 to meet my 640 because, like I mentioned, this is my last income for the month. So I do needed to, I did need to meet my um, full amount to pay for January expense. So I will be depositing this money into um, my bank account at the end of December. Me and my boyfriend, we each pay six forty because his daycare is like one thousand two hundred seventy five a month. It is very expensive. <laughs> um, next, we are going to food. Actually, food is not going to anything and does have one dollar left. Next, we are going to household. Household's going to get ten dollars. We did make a Target run to pick up a bunch of household stuff and um, diapers for LJ. So LJ is also um, empty. So he is also going to get ten dollars today. That is all that he has. Moving on to Capone, he is also going to get ten dollars, and that is all that he has, because we picked up him. We picked up another bag of food for Capone, and then we are going to jump to annual expenses, and that is also going to get ten dollars. So this is a little bit of a shorter cash stuffing. Um, so in my bartending video, two videos ago, I asked for like a little Q and A. And I guess I can answer a couple questions here. But annual now has 110. So one of the questions I get, I got was that what was my full-time job? And I am a data analyst 
at my full-time job basically I just work on computers all day and I do hop on calls um, I do work in like um, analysts like Oracle SQL as our program as like our main program um, so yeah it's it's okay I, I think it's a little boring but I've been you know at the shop for quite a while now I moved up from um, from basically the bottom I'm not like up up but I was I started out in customer service and yeah now I am in a much happier role because in customer service I was on the phones like all day every day and I don't like being on the phones I don't really like talking like you know too much especially like customer service because we have like some people like calling you know angry all the time and it's just not it was just not for me so I am so glad that you know I don't really have to be on the phones I do still have to jump on calls like randomly here and there but it's just way better so yeah I am a data analyst for my full-time job I also help out my dad at his restaurant um, part-time and then I bartend one night a week so I do have one full-time job and two side gigs so moving on to um, my high priority binder cash savings is completely de depleted um, I'm gonna add ten dollars I put in my car um, in the shop on Monday and it was estimated like three hundred dollars for whatever you know routine maintenance it was going through and then they called me saying that I needed rear brakes which I knew um, a couple months ago so I just went ahead and got that done and that was like five hundred and some dollars so my total car service came out to be like eight sixty four so I did take out my cash savings and then um, the rest I covered from my emergency fund unfortunately moving on to medical medical is gonna get ten dollars anything car related is just like so expensive I, don't, I absolutely do not like car maintenance car repairs Okay, so now medical has 20, 30, 35, 40. Um, next is car. <laughs> car is going to get $10. And actually, I'm going to roll the 5 rollover from coffee money into car as well. So now we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Um, but anyway, I am glad I got the rear brakes because it's actually like snowing slash icing today. Um, debt is going to get $10. And investments is also going to get $10. Um, also for my full-time job, I do work from home three days a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, which is when LJ goes into daycare. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, we go in the office for half days. Today, I'm actually filming on Thursday the 15th. And because of the weather, um, I'm not going to go in. Um, it just doesn't make sense. So my department at least is pretty like lenient about like if we want to you know work from home or not because obviously during the pandemic we worked from home for two whole years and everything was fine. Pre-pandemic though we did drive in five days a week and I was in there from nine to five. Like it's so it's so weird now thinking about that because I could never I could never drive in five days a week and stay there all day. So investments now has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So honestly, it's so weird, like, how much has changed because of the pandemic, you know? Just everything. Um, okay, so that is it for my high priority. Moving on, um, I'm actually going to take a short break here and insert a clip of the giveaway winner for the 1K Savings Challenge. Um, there was, like, 50, over 50 entries, so I didn't manually write it down. I did a comment picker, so I will insert the clip here. And if you are watching this video, I would have already reached out to the winner. So congratulations to the winner. Okay, last but not least, we are moving on to my family binder. And starting out with LJ's savings, this is going to get $5. It's actually all going to get $5 in here. Um, and I'm also going to be taking out the L dollars and adding it in here because I will be starting fresh next year for his envelopes and his L dollars just so I could deposit everything in the bank. In here is um, also L dollars but it has $50 in here so I'm actually not going to count it. I will just take it out and this is 50 L dollars that I'll put over here. All right, so now 
for LJ Savings, we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, plus the 50, 86, hold on, 87, 80, 89, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here's 300, and then 50, 1, 2, 3. So we are going to be depositing 353 into his account, and my goal was 336. So I did do the math off camera, and we did reach the next thousand that I wanted to reach for him. So I am so 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 excited for that. So I'm going to start fresh next year. Let me put this like this because it's such a big stack. Like look at this. Woo! It's all ones though. It's a lot of ones. <laughs> um, so yeah, next year I think I am just going to keep track of what I saved for him. So at the end of the year I know like this is how much I personally saved for him in his envelope um, for the whole year of you know 2023. I will be depositing um, every 500 into the high yields account and putting a placeholder or something along the lines. So we will see. So self, I got my nails done. I did like a ombre powder I think. I don't know. I don't know what it's called but I showed the lady a little a picture of what I wanted and, and this is what I got so I do like it so now I'm gonna add five and that is all that I have R who is my boyfriend now he has 15 Jaden who is my nephew he now has 100 200 300 20 40 50 55 355 And then Lee, who is my middle sister, she's gonna get five as well. So now she has 20, 40, 60, 70, 75. And I am one of three girls. I am the oldest girl. Um, I am 30 years old. Lee, who is my middle sister, she is 29. And then we have Lindsay, who is the baby of the family. She is 18 years old. So she is currently in college as a freshman. Um, so I do. I do like send her money here and there. She doesn't currently work while she's in school, but on her break, she does help out my dad's restaurant so she can get, you know, some money. Um, but this I am saving up for her birthday. Her birthday's in February. So now Lindsay has 100, 120, 130, 135. Let me know down below if you guys have any siblings. I am always curious. Um, moving on to Kay, Kayla. She is gonna get five as well. So now she has 10, 15, and 20. And Ken, which is short for Kenya, she is also going to have $20. Okay, moving on to mom. Mom now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 105. And parents. Parents now has 20, 30, 35, 40. And grandparents now has $15. All right, so that is it for my family binder. All right, so last but not least, we are going to my savings challenge binder. Oh my gosh, it is so much thinner now without all the L dollars. Okay, so first, I am only doing one savings challenge, and that is the Emergency Fund Savings Challenge by Jesse C. Envelopes. We are stuffing $50 today, so 20, 40, 50. Wait, why do I have $10 left? Um, I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so for emergency fund, we have 500 in the bank, and then in cash, we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 30, 40, 45. So 245 plus five is 745. We are so close to 1K. All right, so I do have $10 left. I have no idea where that came from. I'm gonna try to go over my budget and my envelopes to make sure that everything was accounted for. Um, it could be that I am filming at like nine in the morning and I just woke up, but I don't know. Okay, so next I am gonna show you some saving challenges that I got from Lou's Budget. She is actually a new 
YouTuber from the Netherlands. So I will leave her page down below. If you guys can go give her a follow, subscribe to her channel, and watch her video, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, but yeah, she has some digital savings challenge, and she sent me this Happy New Year one, and then a couple monthly savings challenge, which is so cute. I think I'm gonna do this one for um, March, even though it says March, I just really like the flowers. So I think I'm gonna do this one. And it's $5, so it's very doable for me. But thank you so much, Lou. I appreciate you, girl. And welcome to the cash stuffing community. We are so happy to have you here. So that is it for this video. Um, all right, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for everyone that entered the giveaway in my previous video. Um, my next giveaway will be whenever I reach 1K subscribers. We are so close yet so far away. So I will be doing a huge giveaway, probably like a three winner giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Um, like I mentioned, this is my last video for the year. So if I don't talk to you guys, I hope you guys enjoy your holidays. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And I will see you guys next year. Thank you so much. Bye.